a brand that makes one of the most beautiful perfume bottles is Florai Q. And today we are discovering the brand. I have this discovery set right here and the whole idea for the brand, it is a sister brand to Memo, is so beautiful because it is strongly associated with Japan and their culture, which I think is such a nice idea. And also the bottles are so incredibly beautiful. It is a very poetic brand only for the bottle design and the name of the perfumes. You would have to have all of them because they are so beautiful and the idea behind every perfume and the name is so so nice but of course we will be very <laughs> objective as objective as i can be and that is not very objective but anyway let's get into this perfume house so this is what the discovery set looks like very japanese very luxe there could be very nice luxurious chopsticks in here and it would fit perfectly but you open it up like this and in here you have all of the perfumes and on the back you can see uh, the names of all of the perfumes and then they are from different lines so there's enigmatic flowers secret cheese and spices forbidden incense and shadow so they have four different lines inside of this discovery set. Mine did not come with a pamphlet or some sort of introduction to the brand and the scents, but I think I did see one brand review where someone also showed a discovery set and I think they had like a pamphlet with like a poem to each perfume and main notes. So that would be very fitting. I think mine is just missing that. But anyway, let's get into the perfumes. First up, we have the scent I Am Coming Home, which is such a nice name. I love it. And this perfume is very spicy. The first thing I smelled was just spices, like a very dry spice. But then five seconds later, you get a strong citrus vibe, almost like lemon pickles, like something sour and salty to it. But then again, you have jasmine tea and white tea in here. Oh my God. And you have some guayac wood, which gives it some depth. And it's definitely a citrusy, fresh scent. But because of the spices and the woods, it's quite a good performer. And now in the mid, I get definitely green tea. It's very green now with a lot of citrus notes. And a thing that a lot of those citruses and those scents have is they almost smell so sour and strong that they remind me and I know a lot of other people of like bathroom cleaner cleaning products just because they are very strong and intense and this one is also very intense it has this spa feeling to it which you will see a lot of those scents remind me of being in a spa getting a massage getting like really relaxed which i think is also the idea and then it gets a little bit more creamy in the dry down and almost has something about blueberries in here. And I have another perfume with blueberry tea in it. And this reminds me a little bit of it as if you would put a splash of that one in here. Definitely unisex, not sweet at all. But if you're searching for a tea sand with a lot of citruses in it that has performance look into this one the next one is called the moon and i and i'm not going to tell you every single time how i adore the names and this is very green and spicy and woody 
it has mate, matcha, guayac wood, bergamot, and cedar as the notes listed. And this is a very authentic mate perfume with some powdery, slightly milky matcha, and then also some floral earl grey aspects in it. So it's a very tea focused scent but not sweet at all. And for that reason, I think I don't love it as much as I want to, but I think layered up with a vanilla perfume as a base, this would be incredible because not a lot of perfumes tend to have this tea aspect that lingers, that is strong, that is very authentic. And this one is quite a strong perfume for a tea perfume so again the performance is good but it's not sweet at all it's a very straightforward mate matcha or gray mixed tea scent the next one is the most popular one from the brand which is called one umbrella for two because i don't have a lot of this one i'm going to spray it on my hand and I have to say it is my favorite as well oh my god it's such a juicy authentic sweet black currant note in the top it's so so nice it's very sweet and creamy and it's so gourmand, it's so yummy. And then it gets more doughy. It has this dough aspect to it and reminds me of a muffin, blueberry muffin, straight out of the oven and you take it and just before you bite into it, this is the smell that you get. Mm. It's so, so good. But it has also something fresh to it and I don't know what it is, but this makes this scent more wearable to me because if it would be too sweet and gourmand, I wouldn't be able to wear it. But this is so nice. It has Genmaisha tea in it, which is one of my favorite teas. I don't really detect it because it is a very strong, nutty roasted tea and it doesn't really smell roasty smoky to me it has puffed rice as a note and it has white musk maybe this is what i mean when i say it smells kind of fresh and has something creamy to it it's so nice this is on top of my wish list right now i have to have it for fall and winter time it is so incredibly beautiful one of the most beautiful gourmand scents because gourmand scents can smell a little bit juvenile, a little bit, I don't know how to say it, but not as refined as other scents. But this one has this beautiful, yummy aspect to it, but still remains elegant and perfumey enough. The next one is called Sleeping on the Roof. I like this uh, perfume bottle a lot. And this one is a very laurel perfume. It's very classy. It reminds me a little bit of CK Eternity. I smelled this one on a woman in a cafe and I was so intrigued. I asked her what she was wearing and she was super surprised and told me it was this. So this is very classy typically feminine fresh floral it could be something from the 90s like a freshie from the 90s with quite strong performance it has some uh, orange blossom in it and some sandalwood and to me it smells like very delicate flowers like a bouquet of flowers with some creamy sandalwood in the base it's not groundbreaking, but it's beautiful and it has performance. The next one is a little bit tricky for me. I'm not too sure what to think of it, 
this is called I see the clouds go by and what I smell at first is so nice it is fruity and sweet and fresh and a little bit floral it has cherry blossom listed and I was hoping for a cherry blossom scent in this line and I like cherry blossom as a note so so much and this one is a very delicate cherry blossom also like tea a note that is so delicate and very hard to get like strongly performing and this also has blackcurrant as the note and you definitely get it but it is like the other one a blackcurrant that is more authentic not as synthetic as a lot of them which is why I like it in this scent. It's a very strong like. It's a little bit sweet and fresh and citrusy, but it has, as well as I said, this slight note of bathroom cleaning products, just because the citruses used are very sharp and strong and not extremely sweet and juicy so you have to know this to like it but if you're okay with that this is just very beautiful the next one is called cricket song which is such a fun name but the perfume itself is one of my least favorites it's not a hate at all it's just that so many of those are strong favorites so one has to be at the bottom and this one is just a little bit too sharp for me and you know what's funny one of my favorite notes and perfumes is magnolia and i've just smelled some um, magnolia perfume from maison marie louis and it had magnolia as the main note and it was so strong and sharp i did not like it at all this one also has only three notes listed and magnolia is the strongest note with bergamot and vetiver coming right after and i don't like it because it is too strong it's like very sharp florals with the spiciness from the vetiver it almost has something metallic to me as if i would smell something cold and metallic no mm -mm. it's it's almost heady and almost makes me have a headache so unfortunately the perfume bottle looks so beautiful but this is one of my or my least favorite from all of them the next one is called first dream of the year and i have to tell you i like that it is such a vast range of perfumes in this discovery set a lot of times you only have a couple of perfumes but in here you have so many to try it will take you some days if you are not me and filming a video but i would make a cut maybe after like four or five uh, perfumes and then come back the next day this is beautiful this is floral and citrusy and fresh right up my alley a little bit fruity it has grapefruit and orange, petit grain, orange blossom, and then some creamy base with uh, musk and iris. It's very beautiful smelling. Also has this bathroom cleaning products scent in the back, but because it has orange and orange blossom in it as well, it's mixed up a little bit better than the other ones and is a little bit more sweet and fruity and not just as sharp and sour and citrusy, if you know what I mean. Mm. This is a strong, like, it's just a very easy scent. You can wear it anytime, anywhere, but it still has something special. So this is also a perfume on my wish list. And then we have my shadow on the wall which sounds very mysterious. This is so niche smelling. This is not for somebody who is used to mainstream perfumes. It's very special. It's 
everything and nothing. I can smell florals and it's a little bit powdery. It's very spicy and fresh at the same time with some woodiness and it almost makes me sneeze. Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. It's very niche smelling. I would not wear this perfume at all. And first I get something it reminds me of something and I don't know what it is, but it's very spicy, like cardamom and ginger, almost like spicy, like, I mean, like foodie spicy smelling, like almost as if you can taste it on your tongue, spicy. And then it gets creamier and more calm. <laughs> it has notes of sandalwood and uh, bourbon vanilla and mimosa, but then it has black pepper and ginger as notes, as well as bergamot. And those are like this very fresh, spicy experience that you get. And the sandalwood and vanilla make it a little bit more smooth, but still nothing I would wear and also nothing I could see on my husband, but it is very interesting. And this perfume is called Sound of a Ricochet, I think. It is called because I did not know this word before. This is so patchouli heavy. You definitely have to like patchouli. It is sweet and spicy and a little bit woody, but it is most of all patchouli sweetened up with vanilla and chonka bean. It has some anise and sandalwood. So it is like a creamy, slightly creamy, spicy patchouli. It's okay, I'd say, but I am not the biggest fan of patchouli and especially not this kind of patchouli. You know, if you come in certain stores, they have those patchouli um, incense sticks. I always love the scent, but then I smell the patchouli in the perfumes and I'm like, this is not, this is not what I'm used to smell. When I think of patchouli, like I was growing up smelling those incense sticks, smelling like patchouli. And this is what patchouli in my head smells like. And it does not smell like the patchouli in a lot of those perfumes. But anyway, let's continue with uh, my love has the color of the night. Oh my God. So poetic. So this one has a strong spa smell to it. To me, this is mostly vetiver, pepper, and patchouli. It's very spicy and woody, not feminine at all, very sharp, but it has this spa-like experience to it. So it puts me in a specific mood and maybe it would be something I would like to smell in the air as a air freshener but not something I would wear on my skin at all and the last one for today is called between two trees I think this is also one of the more popular ones and we will end it on a positive note as well because I like this scent so much it's so pleasant it's green and also spicy and woody but it has this freshness to it and it has a certain sweetness and as I said a lot of those perfumes lack those notes so to me I cannot see myself wearing them they are just too much but this one has what the others had mixed in with those sweet and fresh notes it's very crazy it has red peppers like paprika in it cardamom vetiver it has mate in it grapefruit and ginger sounds very spicy it is very spicy but maybe there is some musk or sandalwood or something in here as well because to me it's very creamy it's also very sexy nothing i would see myself wearing but i would love to see this on my husband actually after this video, I'm going to hold on to this and I'm going to show it to him. This is so pleasant and fresh and it almost has something 
I don't know, smoky, but like sexy smoky. I don't know, there are those vanilla cigarettes. Do you know those? There's this one shop I know where they sell cigars and stuff like that. And sometimes it smells like vanilla cigarettes when you pass by the store. And it has something like that in here, which I typically don't like, but in here it makes it kind of sexy. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me, but this is so, so nice. Okay, so these were all of the Floraiku perfumes in my discovery set. I enjoyed a lot of them. Some of them are on my wish list, actually. Some of them are just not what I want to wear, but that's okay. Let me know which one is your favorite and let me know if you have others from the perfume house that you want me to try. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you.